I see people and they've got these massive like it's almost like a four liter canister of water and they're bringing it around with them and they're going to the gym and they're like you know I'm kind of going oh my god like you're just going to be f- draining yourself in water and I just yeah. wondered like you know there's there's you see so many people now walking around and they go to the gym with the water and water they're always carrying it I'm kind of going can we drink too much water? Like, is, you know, oh. is this an issue as well? Do you see any any instances of this as a doctor? All the time, all the time. And those are my my yogis, my hot yogis, the ones who do Bikram yoga where they 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 sweat and they drink, you know, and they come in and they're like, I drink so much water, but I can't quench my thirst, you know. And um, and so what's happening is so. And you talk about challenges. There was that gallon water challenge that's going around. It's still going around because Tom Brady does it. Um, which, you know, he's fine. He's, you know, he is, he's, he's great. He knows how to take care of himself, but people who are drinking a gallon of water a day um, are probably having problems. So what's happening is you're drinking what I call bulk water, which is just plain water, nothing in it. Um, You're sweating, you know, and you're peeing out all your electrolytes. So you need to replace some of those electrolytes um, and it, it can't. And so one of the things you should look for if you're drinking a ton of water is, um, are you getting leg cramps? Do you notice that? Are you fatigued? Are you quenching your thirst? If the answer is no to those, then you're not doing it right. And, and, and what um, is an electrolyte, Dana? Sorry, sticking my hand up. I know we went in a big salt. run and we used to. Sorry, we, I go on tangent. No, no, salt. I'm fascinated. What is an electrolyte? Just for anyone listening who kind of like me uh, goes. So water. the main electrolytes are um, sodium calcium, potassium, magnesium. These are our substance, their um, minerals are electrolytes basically. And they, um, they're, they're what helps structure our water, but we need them to, to pull water in and out of the cells. They're, they're in charge of our, our, our sodium pump in our bodies. So we need electrolytes in order to regulate our fluids in our bodies. So when you are, are drinking plain water with nothing in it, you know, sweat is loaded with electrolytes. You ever taste your sweat? It's salty, you know? So if you're sweating, you're sweating out those electrolytes and you're not replacing them with electrolytes. Um, and and that's that can be a problem. Now, the, it's hard. I think people who are doing that and not quenching thirst, you could definitely do an electrolyte, you know, mix. Like they have all kinds of things now, supplements that you could put a little scoop in. You don't need to do it in every single glass of water that you drink a day, um, but... The other thing you could do is just real salt. Like real salt is a brand, but when I but I mean real salt, meaning natural salt. So salt that either comes from a salt mine or the sea or you know Himalayan pink salt. That salt has the full spectrum of minerals in it. Like it's not just sodium and chloride. It has all the other minerals in it. So a little pinch of salt and maybe I, I say this. Try wake uh, the other uh, trick number two. A green smoothie a day is one number two. Every morning, have a big glass of water, put a little pinch of real salt in there with a squeeze of lemon, suck it down. So front load your water. Um, that's what I call it. So you're you're already starting your day by, by sort of drenching your organs with a nice big glass of water and some minerals. Um, and in fact, that's the way that desert people hydrate. Um, so they don't carry around a big glass of water you know, uh, every, you know, or a big jug of water, maybe they do nowadays, but they didn't before. So they, before they would go on their, on their journey, they, they front load their water. They, they, they soak their organs. Like, like so, a camel pack it all in, keep yeah, it there for a few yeah. days. And in terms of electrolytes and minerals, like, you know, I've never, t- only to, only when we've gone on big crazy runs, do I, have I taken electrolytes, but if you're eating plenty of fruits and vegetables, they're just going to be packed with minerals anyway. You don't then, need them, right? Yeah, I don't think you need them. So I think for anyone who's listening, going, "Oh crap, I need electrolytes. I, I need to start putting these things." Like my own understanding is that if you're eating lots of healthy food choices and not a lot of processed foods, and drinking water, you're going to get your body's going to have so much electrolytes anyway. Am I right? In exactly. Yeah. Totally. That's that's exactly true. But if you're drinking a gallon of water a day, then it might be beneficial to put a little salt or a little electrolytes in one or two of those. If you're getting leg cramps, if you're, you know, if you're fatigued, if you're not quenching your thirst, it's it's hard. It's very individualized. Once again, that individual, everybody's different. Everybody, you know. So so yes, you're absolutely right. Once again, those people who are eating well may only need one glass of water. And by the way, over hydration. Speaking of over hydration, I see at least once a week a person who comes in. I check their blood, and they have low sodium and low chloride. And when I question them, how much water are you drinking? I drink a ton of water. So they're they're drinking so much that their electrolytes in their blood are off. And we used to think that that's very rare. 
it's not rare. It happens. I see it at least once or twice a week in my patients. So people, um, you can absolutely overhydrate and, um, yeah. And you don't all need to, to, to use electrolytes, but if you are a big sweater, like if you sweat a lot, not a big jumper, um, <laughs> you, I like that. if you, if you sweat a lot, um, and, and you're a, maybe an endurance athlete, you go for a long time, then it's a good idea. Like, and they, I actually have a little uh, recipe for a homemade, um, you know, sports drink in there that has glucose and that kind of thing. And I'm not a big believer in the, forgive me, Gatorades and those kind of things. They're loaded with artificial junk. So uh, there are, there are ways to do it better. 